Hi, I'm Barry Kent. Welcome to SECO University. Let me give you a quick tour. This is where we actually have technicians train on different gas furnaces. Here you'll see a high efficiency gas furnaces furnace unit that uh, we drill holes in to make sure that the technicians understand the flue temperature requirements. This happens to have an air conditioning coil on the top. You'll notice that the doors are open so that we can check the gas valves and the gas piping inside the unit. This happens to be an air handler that we would see in a typical heat pump application. And uh, the cover is off and you'll notice that the wires are kind of sticking out here. And our goal with this equipment is to build in simulated problems so that the technicians have to actually troubleshoot the equipment here in our building. We take the most common problems that we run into in the field and then we'll build the problems in here so that each technician is capable and competent to troubleshoot when they get out in the field. Um, same here. This happens to be a unit with a hot water coil built in. Not real uh, popular right now, but uh, we see them occasionally in the old PPL style program where there's hot water coils installed in ductwork and it's an off-peak kind of storage system. And it's kind of making a little bit of a comeback right now with solar hot water. Uh, this happens to be an older gas furnace here and we take these apart when we bring them back so that a technician has a good visual on what a cracked heat exchanger or a weak heat exchanger looks like. We'll take the heat exchangers out of the equipment and you can see that on this one there's a hot spot here. And the idea here is to actually show the technicians what they would see if they could take the equipment apart. A lot of times the duct work hides different problems that we find. And this is a typical air conditioning coil here that is out of a system. So uh, you can actually see how the coil is being treated. It is a plastic pan that the coil sits in. All the dirt accumulates on the inside of this coil. So getting up into that inside of that coil is extremely difficult and important for a technician to do to make sure that the airflow is proper in a home and that the cooling coil actually does its job cooling. I want to show you one other thing here that we don't train on anymore and that's the older style thermostats. We have some ancient thermostats here. I don't know if you can get a good close-up of that or not but it's uh, before, before Honeywell was just Honeywell and you'll see some of these with the old style clocks on. Some of these are actually older than me, believe it or not. Very popular style heat pump thermostat over here that uh, we used to use a lot, which is kind of nice, and now you'll see mercury bulbs in old thermostats and you won't see mercury bulbs anymore. We're actually required to uh, recycle the entire thermostat and uh, we do that. We have a recycle center. So if we have an old thermostat, the mercury isn't leached into the garbage or into our water supply. So let's take a look inside. At, this is our physical training. Let's take a look inside where we do the classroom training. So welcome to SECO University. This is actually our training center. Come on in. We have audio and visual equipment set up so technicians have the opportunity to, to actually have a, an instructor. You'll notice that we just had a brazing class. Typical classes are held here every week. Technician has at least two meetings a week to keep them current with what's going on in the industry. As the industry is changing, twice a week we find is, is pretty good. So I'll take a look back here and we'll show you some of the things that we'll train on in And we do a lot of work with Honeywell systems and again this happens to be a Honeywell board of their equipment so a technician we can we can actually set this up so a technician has first-hand experience right here in our building using the different Honeywell thermostats the different Honeywell zoning controls and zoning systems all these are live and actually work we have built over the years a number of test boards 
that if I can pull one out here and show you, weigh about 5,000 pounds each. And again, it's a simulated test board that uh, we actually program issues into or show technicians how different components work with relationship to another so that they're not out actually out learning in the field as much as they are learning right here in SECO University, which is extremely important to us and to our customers. So great. Thanks for joining me on a tour today. I'm Barry Kent, and this is SECO Home Services and SECO University. Have a great day.